Hey guys, Chris for Project Mobile here. We're taking a look at uh, Google Currents, which is Google's app version competitor to Flipboard, which is wildly popular on iOS and currently my favorite app for the platform. It works very similar. It's taking web content from streams, either from people from Google Plus or other RSS feeds like your Google Reader, and it integrates them into the app and makes it more just like a, a really nice looking magazine. Google Currents is a universal app. However, it does suit the iPad the best given the iPad screen is much like the size of a magazine. At first, you boot it up and you refresh all of your feeds. I do have a minor gripe here with the feed refresh time. It seems like if you haven't updated the app in a while, you're gonna sit and refresh feeds for quite a while, something that you're not used to seeing with RSS feeds. You'll also notice too at the bottom that your images will also take a very long time to update. I'm not really sure what exactly this is doing because if you do go through your feeds and you're on Wi-Fi or even a strong 3G or 4G connection, you will notice that the images do load without any problem. Feeds can easily be added through just a simple little menu button here. One just, just like Flipboard, it has a ton of curated content from everyone on either the big guys on Google Plus or you have your favorite website. For me personally, most of my content is coming from Google Reader. However, a big complaint here, all the feeds are done individually. Unlike Flipboard and many other uh, RSS readers, you're unable to combine multiple sources from like say an RSS feed from all of your favorite iOS sites and you can't combine them into one. So every single RSS feed is gonna be individual on the home screen. Sort of a huge pain when you look at 30 or 40 different RSS feeds like me during the day. Once you've selected all of the feeds that you're interested in, you can finally start looking at the purpose of the app, which is all the content. The content is laid out very nicely, very magazine style, almost like somebody curated all of this. Publishers are given the freedom to, cu to customize their feeds however they like, so you will notice that it is a little different from, uh, from site to site. Uh, going through them, it's switching left and right, just like a magazine where you have stories and menus that go up and down on the left side. Uh, content looks fantastic, and once you go into a post, you're able to see it as they are giving it to you in a standard RSS feed. Most sites tend to do just excerpts, so you will have to go to the actual article on the web. Luckily, the site or the app built into it has a uh, built-in UI web view, so you can just go and look at it through there. As you would imagine, the app being universal means that the iPhone version also looks fantastic. Also, just like Flipboard, the iPhone version has to compensate for the fact that the screen is much smaller, going from 9.7 inches down to 3.5 inches. That said, most of the controls, all of the controls are exactly the same. You just have a little less screen real estate to work with. The app does do a good job in customizing that, considering the fact that you are only going to be able to display usually at most three or four stories and maybe a quick listed view for certain feeds. I didn't find that really to be much of a problem because the app is intelligent enough to dis divide things up so it still looks fantastic. You're still going to get a lot of images and pretty much all the same posts you are anyway. You're just going to have to flip through a few more pages if you're looking at a long post. Like I mentioned before, the controls for the app are pretty straightforward, usually taking more of a cue from Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich or really Honeycomb in general where everything is more contextual based on the bottom. You're going to have your standard back, home, uh, a menu that sort of pulls up a menu that overlays everything for a kind of a quick view, a sharing option, as well as a next. Um, the next seems a little pointless just because you can navigate the app almost entirely through through swipes going from story to story. However, the, the UI is nice and it's it's good to see developers taking advantage of different UI things other than just the standard Apple back buttons and home. Another gripe I came into contact with very quickly, especially being a heavy Google Reader user, is that the app does not mark things as read when you are looking at them through the feeds. It will continually keep content there. So if you are looking at, say, a feed from Project Mobile and you happen to forget where you left off, you're going to be reading a lot of the same stories. It's not intelligent like Flipboard where it will know to mark stories as read and will only load the most current updated information. Probably a big reason for why a lot of the load times when you're loading the app up for these feeds take so long. Google Currents is a great step in the right direction for Google because it marks one of the only apps that Google has developed natively for iOS that A, works, and B, works properly. Um, it is missing a couple key features that make this really not able to compete for Flipboard for me, such as marking things as read and consolidated feeds. However, in the future, I'm sure this will probably be added. I do like the app. I don't use it. I can't even recommend it saying that it comes even close to Flipboard in terms of usability. However, if you are somebody who isn't using it for more than just a few feeds at a time or just looking at certain curated content, I think you'll really like the app.